Hey, so now we're going to import our mesh into ZBrush so we can start sculpting with it. First thing we're going to want to do is just import by clicking import under the tool palette. And we're going to want to navigate to where we have our creature, the OBJs. And the first thing I'm going to do is just grab the head. We'll start with that. And I'm going to drag it out. And what you notice there is I actually didn't click the edit button. So what happens is it starts dragging out multiple heads and that can be pretty confusing. So uh, if that happens, just hit control N, which is clear the canvas and drag out another head. Once it's dragged out, click the edit button over here, the edit object. And um, then once that's on, you can now rotate around your object. So if you're just trying to import one subtool, you can use the append tool down here, append subtool. Uh, let's bring up this little um, quick pick. And if you've imported or loaded tools or imported other pieces of geometry, they will be in here and you can pick them. But since we have so many, the way I want to do this um, so that you don't have to do one by one is actually come up here to your Z plugin menu and scroll down until you see Subtool Master. Drop that down. And we're going to want to use the multi append. Um, this uh, will add each one into the subtool palette. So let's do that. Let's click multi append and then shift click all of them and then control unclick head obviously because we already uh, included that and uh, imported that one we don't want to do it again. Click open and ZBrush starts bringing everything in. I'm getting this message because the antennas and the eyes haven't been closed at the bottom, which can normally cause a problem, but because that mesh is going to be covered up by other mesh, I don't think it's going to be an issue and we're just going to continue with it the way it is. I'm going to click quads and triangles. And so that was for the eyelashes and that was for these two eyes and then the rest of the eyes. Then everything else pops in just fine. So now you can see our mesh has been imported and it looks like it's ready to go. We can start sculpting and that's going to be the next step. Um, if you look over here under the subtool palette and just do a little scroll down, you can see it already imported everything and it uh, named them all. And we'll look at um, the subtool palette a little bit more as we start working with it. Um, but for now, yeah, this is this is how you import, and that's pretty easy. So I'll see you here uh, on the next step, starting to sculpt.